hello greeting everyone i trust everybody will be in good health and spirits uh, my name is Amat Khan uh, and today's lecture we will drop into the intricacies of crafting a discrete malware dropping dropper using python so we will learn how we can code our own dropper uh, with them of circumventing into various measurement measures I know it has been some time since our last interaction and before diving into our subject matter uh, please let me uh, please allow me to share a personal anecdote uh, on December 25 2023 at approximately 1 p.m. I was involved in a sewer accident caused by a gas leakage recently an extensive bond to my face hand and feet I am immensely grateful to those who kept me in their thoughts and prayers during this challenging time uh, that I face ever in my life and I hold their support dear to my heart. I am pleased to report that I am uh, now on the path to recovery. Just have a quick look to the value. So in this lecture, um, we will be using Python as a programming language and R to code and try dropper. Um, you can subscribe to Cyber Sec Revolution and you can share with your friends if they have any trust in ethical hacker cybersecurity and programming. And also you can visit cybersecrevolution.org and then you can visit our shop. You can see our products, a uh, bunch of product. You can check if you need dropper. If you need more reliable with more feature, you can check this dropper. So let's get started the lecture and let me show you how we can do this. So what I'm going to do first of all, I will create, uh, just let me uh, tell you what what is mean by dropper. Dropper is a malicious malware. Uh, it's a kind of malware. It's a malicious software that is used to bypass into viruses. Uh, let me understand you the concept of dropper with the help of diagram. Let's assume that this is a server and we have uploaded all malware on this particular server. So what we have to do, we have to get the URL for this malware and we will embed the malware URL into the dropper. What the dropper will does when someone will use our dropper or malicious software, the dropper will silently and handily send a request to the server in order to get this malware. Once the dropper will get this malware, it will download on the victim system and then it will execute silently. This is what does it mean by dropper. Okay, so this will help us to bypass into RSS. Uh, I'm not sure if um, it can bypass all, to, all into RSS. If, if you need, if you need dropper, as I said before, you can take it from our website. So first of all, let me create a Python file and then I will write some code in order to develop the dropper. Of course, it will be a simple dropper. So let's say I am keeping the name is dropper.py and I will, yes. Let's say this is our malware. If I will execute it, you can see here it's of course a portable software in case it, in your case it will be malware, something depends totally on you. So let me open the file. First of all, what I have to do, I have to import some library. The first library will be uh, request library. The reason is that, as I said before, the dropper will send requests to a particular server. So for sending requests to server or getting response, we need a library called request. So I will include request library and also I will include OS library because we will keep the downloaded file in the same current directory. And then what we have to do, we have to include byte IO from IO library. The reason is that we will get the content of the dropper, sorry, of the malware, and then we will embed into an exe file. So what I have to do, I have to include byte IO uh, 
library from io so i will i will import this function sorry library bytes io uh, sorry for the spelling mistake yeah i think it's cool so then what we have to do once we will download the malware through dropper then we have to execute it i mean the dropper will automatically execute the file after downloading so for this purpose we can include p open from sub process so what we have to do we have to mention from sub process i need to import p open okay so now we are okay with the modules now i have to define a function that will does this process for us so let me define a function like let's say define download execute so this function will take just one uh, parameter the parameter will be url so it will be url so inside this function what i have to do uh, I have to mention the main content for the particular function of course as I said before this function will uh, send a request to a particular URL and then it will download malware from this from that URL and then it will execute so I have to implement the capability for the function so first of all I have to get the response for the function uh, sorry for the URL if it's okay or not so what I have to do I have to define a variable like resp so i will store the request uh sorry request dot get and i want to get the request for this particular url the url of course is the dropper url sorry the malware url and i want to store i want to store the response and response variable so then i have to uh, confirm if the response status code is 200 then it means that uh, or request and response is success if it's something else like if it's not 200 then it means that there is something else there is something wrong i mean so i have to check if risk uh, dot i have to call the method status code status underscore code uh, equal equal 200 it means that the request and response success once the request and response is success then what i have to do i have to get the content uh, of the malware so i have to store the content in a variable it will be like payload so what i have to do in payload file i have to call first of all byte io function this will take one parameter and the parameter will be resp dot content of course we have to get the content from the response so then we have to store the content and payload variable so uh, that's fine now what i have to do uh, once we will do this uh, payload content will be stored in payload variable now we have the content of the payload variable now the next step is to write to read the content from the payload variable so i have to store the content and i will keep the name for the variable is ra underscore data okay and then what i have to do i have to call payload variable and i have to call dot read method and i have to read payload content and then i will store the content in raw underscore data variable now we are okay now we are okay now we have to drop the malware in a particular folder so as i said before we have we, we in this particular lecture we are we are going to drop the malware the uh, drop the payload uh i mean the malware uh and the current folder so for this purpose first of all we have to get the current folder so i will store and current underscore dir so we have to call os library from os library we have to call get cwd current working directory function and now we are okay with it now the next file the next step is we have to drop the malware in this particular directory i mean in this current directory okay so for this purpose what we have to do we have to call open because we have the content we read the content in 
uh, ra underscore variable we store them now we have to write we are going to write in this particular directory and then we will get the payload okay so i'm going to call i'm going to context manager with open i'm going to do this process in ospot.giant i'm going to call this method and then the current dir okay the second module will be sorry the second parameter will be my i'm going to um, keep the name for the payload is payload dot hc and since it's binary file so we have to use wb uh, mode is file or it will be like if so i think file will be good and then i'm going to write file dot write what i'm going to write i'm going to write raw data is we have read the content of the payload and we store them in our underscore data so i'm going to write them and once i will write them then what i have to do i have to execute so for this purpose what i'm going to do i'm going to call um, process module uh, sorry p open i'm so sorry so i will keep them and run uh, i mean in a run variable so i'm going to call p open and then i'm going to mention the payload i mean the exe file name the file name is payload.exe so now we are okay so now we are working with the if statement if the status code is not 200 if it's something else so then what we have to do we have to print any message print if errors and request and resp it's fine so now what we have to do we have to take input url from the user i think we can embed directly so what i have to do first of all i have to visit um, any cloud in order to upload the payload for this purpose i'm going to use media file fire in order to upload uh, my malware so my malware is p.exe i have to get direct downloading url and i have to click on uh, begin upload it's okay i will copy the url and i will paste here and i will hit enter button once i will do this i will right click here because i have to get direct downloading url for the file so i will have to minimize and the url will be this one okay so now i have to call the function and i will pass the argument so i will call the function download execute because it takes one parameter so i will pass the argument url and it's okay i will save it i'm okay with it so now what i have to do uh let me execute it if it's working or not and let's see if we are getting the file or not so i have to execute the file dropper.py and let's see what's happening what we are getting and it's okay it's cool you can see here the file is successfully downloaded and it's executed you can see here the file is executed so this is what i mean what we mean by a dropper now you can convert this dropper into um, exe file so for this you can use by installer minus minus no confirm minus minus one file and the file name is dropper.py and then we can use virus total in order to check the detection result hopefully it will not get detected by uh, windows defender and let's see let's see if you are able to bypass windows defender or not i will show you
now you can see her we are done so i will visit dist folder you can see her this is your final dropper you have to have you have to send this dropper in, to your victim so now how uh, i know this dropper is not persistent what is mean by persistent you should know about this this is not stable means that if your victim will shut down their pc or if your victim will restart their pc you will lose the victim connection your dropper will stop execution so for this you have to make the dropper persistence if you are interesting in persistent dropper more stable dropper you can check from my website as i said before so this is your dropper and first of all let me uh, scan this with windows defender and let's see if it's get flagged or not let me change the name it's suspicious like file explorer so okay and now let me scan with window defender and let's see if it's get detected or not zero threat found uh, okay and you can see here no current thread you can see everything is okay uh, again if i will scan it scan with windows defender we have successfully bypassed Windows defender so we are okay with Windows defender you can see here no current thread you can see something like this items kept during scan uh, okay i'm so sorry what's happening here when your defender is unable to scan this file yes when your defender is unable to scan this file uh let me try again if you are able to scan with window defender or not oops we are unable to get it so let me try to upload on virus total i know it's not a good practice to upload on virus total but this is just a uh, conceptual lecture in order to understand you in order to teach you the uh, in order to give you the concept of malware dropper how you can do this in python how python is helpful in case of malware development development so i will copy the path and i will click on upload Ch sorry choose file i will select the file i will click on open and then you can see here computing hashing hashes so i will click on confirm upload let's see what's happening what's going on so it's done cool you can see here it will analyze the file you can see here so far we are okay 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 we are detected by two into rs three into rs six into rs seven into rs and hopefully we are okay right now with this I think at school at school uh, result is pretty good comparatively other into rs other malware out of 17 to rs 7 out of 17 to rs uh the dropper is just detected by 72 rs i think we are cool at school we are okay with it you can see her majority into rs like evg successfully bypassed avest is bypassed these are most popular into rss let's see if we are able to bit defender is bypassed uh, let's check for the windows defender uh, when secure is bypassed and let's see let's search for defender if it's bypass you can see here bit defender bit terror you can see so we are okay with it uh, i think windows defender is also bypassed to microsoft you can see here majority into rss are bypassed hopefully you enjoy you will enjoy this lecture thank you